Shyam? Can you hear us? I guess Shyam has already started the case and he's got few recordings uh, ready to show and proceed with the surgery. First, uh, details. Good evening, everyone. So yeah. Brief uh, description about the case. 61 year old male, complaints of uh, pain and weakness on the right shoulder for the past three years, which was in serious onset. Uh, his main disability being uh, uh, difficulty in uh, dressing himself and lifting heavy objects. Uh, this patient had uh, rotator cuff uh, repair done, SSP and ISP repair done, and with subscribe repair done on the left side, uh, back, almost a year back. And on examination, uh, he has quadments point tenderness, long head of bicep tenderness, and his active and passive uh, range of motion is almost normal. Uh, but his cuff strength in, of SSP is 3 by 5 and ISP is 3 by 5. This is the pre -op range of motion of the patient. That's the index side, and the opposite side. These are the MRI cuts showing a full thickness tear of the supraspinatus and infraspinatus, and uh, upper two third subscapular tear, and full thickness tear and retraction of the longer of biceps with patties three uh, retraction uh, and gotilius stage two. So, this is the plan uh, diagnostic arthroscopy and uh, superior capsular reconstruction or transosseous repair. Shyam, I'll invite the moderators for this live surgery, Dr. Subramaniam and Dr. Sujit Tos onto the stage. So over to our moderators, Shyam. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Am I audible? Not audible? Okay, you can just leave yeah, it as Audible, such. audible, clear. Shyam. Audio running? Uh, am I audible, Shyam. sir? Yeah, you are audible, Shyam. Okay, uh, fine. Is Dr. Now, uh, and the this is gentleman has got a massive, massive tear. Um, his biceps is lost. Can I have the suture retriever, please? Uh, if I had the biceps, I would have used it for a biceps SCR, uh, but that was not needed. The biceps auto loss, and he had a Lefos type 2 subscap tear, which I have repaired here. I have used an all suture anchor, double loaded, to repair here, and that's rock solid and rigid. After releasing all the tissue, I have released on the undersurface of the cuff. You can see, I, I have released the undersurface of the cuff. I have released on the superior aspect of the cuff. I have actually gone down up to the spine of the scapula and uh, released what much can be done. Dr. Sham, is all that a laminated tear? You are holding yes, the is, inferior yes, laminated tear. Uh, you have the inferior mm. thick layer yeah. and then you have the superior thinner layer. Now, good thing is, this thinner layer is able to reach up to the GT and covering it very well. Okay. So now you can see that the cuff is covering very well. Mm -hmm. But the inferior layer can be brought back only to a certain extent from here till here. That's good enough to cover the medial margin of the articular cartilage. That's enough. That's like and, the posterior uh, cable. What is the anterior extent? Mm -hmm. Now, you see this is the long end of the biceps. All right. So it's better that your cuff reaches up to this anterior margin. This is the lateral border of the... Uh, GT. This is the lateral border of the GT. So, if my cuff is able to come and sit here, that's good enough because pre-op, this patient, gentleman had a good range of motion. Only problem is he's having pain and high riding humeral head, which may cause cuff arthropathy in future. Can I have the RF please? There is a lot of bleeding because of the traction stitch which has been applied here. So, Sam, it's obviously oh. a very difficult case actually. Before yes, uh, doing the subscap repair, how much was the retraction? The subscap? No, you, I think you repaired the subscap just now. Yes, I did. The, I repaired the subscap. The subscap was not uh, retracted. It was just elevated from the uh, footprint. It was okay. just now I'm asking the about the supraspinatus. Yeah. After supra repairing subscap, has it come a little closer? Yes, it is. Yes, it has. Yes. Yeah. So, because prior to the release, it was further inside. 
Now with the release, it's coming on and covering up the footprint pretty well. So I think this is a very good case for a transverse uh, tunnel. So uh, let me recreate how I'm going to reduce the cuff. Separate stitches for the inferior margin, which comes in, sits here. So the medial margin, articular sided area is covered. This is a traction stitch. Now I have another thicker layer, which is superior. I'm not going to compromise the bursal tissue. I'm going to take everything with me. Look at that, that's the superior layer. So catch hold of that as well and the bursal tissue and bring it up and cover it onto the footprint. This is a lateral cortex margin, right? So it's covering up very well. I'm sure uh, I'll be able to do a good job here. So let's go for the first. So you were saying before bites. the release, it was yes, not uh, reaching the footprint area. Is that right? It was reaching. It was reaching the medial articular margin of the humeral head, okay. not beyond that. So after doing all the release, you probably increase the excursion about two to three centimeter. Is that right? Probably. Yes, yes. sir. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I have done. Because if we see the uh, uh, um, uh, sagittal view of his MRI scan, apart from atrophy, he does not have a fatty degeneration, which means the muscle is still viable and you bring it and fix it onto the GT, it is going to heal very well. Fiber wire, please. I need the fiber tape first, fiber tape. So I'm going to do a different configuration here, a fiber tape horizontal mattress stitch configuration, which will act as a rip stop stitch. And then a few uh, simple throws behind the fiber tape uh, to act as a rip stop configuration kind of a repair. So uh, I have uh, Dr. Shivkumar from Navakal who is uh, assisting me here as a first assistant and Dr. Uh, Amarjit here, my fellow here. So um, let's go to the inferior layer first. I'm using a fiber tape from Conmed uh, Linvitec, hi-fi tape. Now we got, got the bite onto the inferior surface. It's not working, one minute, let me try once again. No, no, hold this, hold this, hold this. All this. All right, let's try once again. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's go inside. Amar, can you give me a little bit traction, please, with the switch of thread that's having? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, a little bit traction. That's it. Ah, huh, that's good. That's good. Yes. Passed. That's passed there. Now, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Okay. Now, once again, to the deeper layer. A superficial layer. Two layers. Hmm. <coughs> now I go on to the superficial. This one. And as deep as possible to bring back the excursion. All right, that's it. That's gone through. Now, can I have the suture retriever, please? This one. The next step that I have to do is take a horizontal inferior mattress. Once again, the hi-fi tape, uh, auto pass, hold this. Okay, this one goes here. Same through the cannula, hold that. So, inferior, inverting my device upside down. Here I cannot bring the inferior layer as much anterior, so what I have to do is try to catch hold of only the superior layer. No, not not so much. So see that's the spine of the scapula. So I'll go a little anterior so that I, I catch hold of the supraspinatus also and pierce it. No, didn't work it. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't work well. All right, so what we'll do, <clears throat> once again, hold this, stay there. So I go inside, then I turn it, I want to catch hold of only the superior surface, I go there, yes, got it. So it's not working properly. Can we change the needle and check once again? OK, 
Okay, let me check whether it's working properly or not. Shyam. Yes, sir. Tell us uh, which future parser you are using. Sir, uh, it's Conmed AutoPass, Conmed Linvatec AutoPass. Hmm. Usually works very well, yeah. and it does not work well during this hmm. life surgery. <laughs> no, no, that happens uh, always. For everyone. We accept that, not a problem. Hmm. Yeah, worked well. Good, that's it. Yeah, now see, look at this. This this fiber tape will act as a rip stop. Mm. Yes, all right? yes. Yeah. Now, next thing is pass all the fiber wires beyond it and you get a fantastic rip stop stitch configuration. Now, let's give me the fiber wire, please. I'll take, uh, what I'm going to do is four passes through the cup tissue. I'll make one hole here, one hole here, two passes and one fiber tape through this hole. Two fiber wires, uh, two fiber wires and one fiber tape through another hole. And then uh, finish off with the cuff repair. All right, let's go this way. Again, same way, do not leave the inferior layer, catch hold of it. Amar will give little traction. That's it. Thank you, Amar. Beautiful. That's it. Wait there, wait there, wait there. I have to pass through the superior layer also. That's it. Hands off. Now going through the superior layer and beyond the tape. That's more important. So I have to go beyond the tape. There it is. Look at that. I go beyond. Come like a ripstop stitch. That's it. Good. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuttle all these superior threads to a different corner. All right. Para please. Yes, of course, that area bleeds. Bursal tissue. That's good. Can I have one more fiber wire, please? Suture retriever. So what I do, go through the posterior portal and knock off, take off the superior fiber wire to one corner so there is no crowding. Next, can I have the fiber wire, please? Pull the fiber th tape neatly. Then let's go inside. Second step. Again, not through this, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to, yeah, over here. So this is for the inferior layer. In fact, uh, this traction stitch is in the perfect position for a bite, but it's okay. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Good. What is this? Fiber wire? Okay, that's good. Thank you. Hold this. One more pass through the superior leaf. There it is. That's a superior leaf. And the fiber tape is over there. Go beyond that area. Push a little bit. Ah, that's it. And it's quite closer to the previous fiber tape. So what I do is I try to go a little anterior and divert. That's it. Second throw. Yeah, I know, I know that. Suture retriever, please. Here, after I don't need this uh, traction stitch, take it off so that there won't be knot or fiber wire tangling. Hold this. That's it. Now everything is clear. That's it. Okay. Same way, suture retriever. This is always happens. That's it. Done. So again, what I'm going to do, transfer the superior thread to the posterior portal. Suture management. Take it off. Go away. That's it. Now, let's have one more that uh, tiger, tiger, tiger fiber wire. Tiger Marion Silla, the Guruma. Give me that. Yeah. So I think uh, 
two more bytes we should be done with it hmm. it's a very nice technique you are demonstrating i'll just explain to the audience here yes so yes, give, uh, me a, give me a pro please can yes. i have a pro please so right now um, see this this inferior layer should this inferior thick intact layer should come and sit here covering the articular margin and the superior layer which is flimsy not good quality but still it should be able to come and sit onto the lateral cortex this is the lateral cortex of the gt because it provides excellent vascularity look at this beautiful reddish structure here so all i want is just to bring the cuff from its postro medial direction to an antero lateral direction and act as a very good force couple superiorly so that whenever he tries to elevate the shoulder this function functions as a shoulder depressor because he has got a fantastic external rotation his elevation is good deltoid is functioning well all that procedure that i am going to do right now is to prevent him from this de developing any sort of a rotator cuff arthropathy it's a nice technique for when you have a laminated uh, cupter you right. take uh, at different levels the inferior layer and the superior layer so that you can approximate on the whole footprint nicely right correct right. so next one is uh, this this the one below that cannot be brought forward yeah. so i just take the superior layer and i think i got it yes i got it that's good fine all right take it off get me the um fire uh, retriever next i need the fiber wire the blue color pass the superior cuff thread stitch to one corner all right that's good now can i have the last stitch so it has to be in between this tiger fiber wire and the fiber tape and it has to come above the fiber tape over there all right let's see for this case yeah this much is needed it depends upon case to case no we, we, you have it's your own uh, decision making all that you need is appropriate cuff management to onto the gt and good secure fixation with how much ever fiber wire that is possible all right that's it it's passed over can you see that it's behind the fiber tape that will act as a very good rip stop that's it so to retrieve please now i have taken all the superior threads to the posterior portal for a good management and then i have all the inferior threads to the anterolateral portal cannula and uh, now let's start with the all preparation so for that i need the posterior i uh, the see look at the arm is in some sort of external rotation i would like to bring it to the neutral or internal rotation to get the posterior hole okay so i tend to internally rotate that's it keep it that way and then i have already cleared the sub deltoid space over here okay, this is absolutely essential for the fiber wire passage can i have the all please bone channel all needle and knife how to space your tunnels that's more important thing 5 mm is needed beyond two tunnels so if this is tunnel 1 tunnel 1 i would have the tunnel 2 somewhere over here okay so i'll put the tunnel one over here just one single incision in the skin is needed then you can externally rotate the arm and place the next uh, tunnel can i have the all please now that's it there it is right next to the corner good strong bone felt here can you tap please this is a uh, one minute this sharp tip point is 2.5 mm go down go down push tap tap and this big cylindrical stuff is 3.5 mm okay and i go till that end that's it stop let's have one uh, suture loop fiberoid passage and then this is the tensa this is a tensa so this acts very well so what i have to do is retrieve this slot okay see this slot is here i just retrieve it and keep it like this now to place that i have to take out the cannula remove the cannula bleeding will happen don't worry about that uh, dr sham uh, could you show how this works in vitro outside how it retrieves the suture can you zoom here yeah can you zoom here see look at this you have a sheath a sleeve 
-hmm. This sleeve it helps you to fix onto the cortex. So, for example, my finger is a GT. Okay. I put the hole into the GT, so mm -hmm. it's inside the GT, All right. and then fix it like this. That's mm -hmm. it. Okay. And the fiber wire goes through this hole, this hole, and catch hold of it. And then when I retrieve it, the fiber loop is through the GT. I'll All show right. here. All right. Okay. Now, pass on. Here, especially, the anterolateral portal should not be the standard anterolateral portal. So what you do is, can you hold this camera? If the acromion, if the, if the acromion is like this, and the GT is like this, your anterolateral portal usually be in line with the acromion and go in an angulation, maybe 45 degrees. But for this device, you have to be a little lower. So the anterolateral portal should be lower so that you can easily pass the instrument and make it lie onto okay. the GT. That's okay. more important. So that's the reason why I put a low anterolateral portal here. And then I've inserted the device in. It's inside here now. Look at that. Next most important thing is. Show the arthroscopic picture, please. Yeah. Yeah, arthroscopic outside also. Then yeah, we can see both, yeah. Yes. Now, most important thing is hold the Shiva. Now, the arm is in abduction, okay? Now, I press it and take it into a little bit of abduction. That's it. That gives me more comfort and in neutral position. Now, next step is pass it down. And that's it. See, it's just going and lying on the GT. All right. Next step, hold it here. Can I have the all, please? You may be not, vi not be visible here. Ah, okay, fine. That, that you can see it here. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's it. All right. All. Show the outside picture. Yes, we, we can see that. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Yes, Dr. Sundar, can you show the uh, internal view to show the geometry of the hook around the, the, the greater tuberosity there? Because your portal placement is great. It would be great for people to see how that hook sits right on the bone. That's how you know oh, you got a great placement. See how that just wraps right around there, the contour? Yeah. See, on right. the GT, all right? A little yeah. bit more will be satisfactory, but still, just hold there, hold there, okay? That's it. this then look at that all right it's passed through let's check if it's coming out this way just gently take it off that's it that's perfect yeah that's it it comes as a loop isn't it Yes, sir. Then you can you can pass your uh, all the fiber stitches which have yeah. taken through the cuff. Yeah, yeah that's it. So no, separate. All right. Now that's it. Hold this. Now I have uh, the loop here. Next most important thing is passage of the suture wires, which I'm go going to pass. Uh, can I have um, the suture retriever? Let's take all the close this, close this, because it's bleeding. It may not be visible that clearly. Now. See, these are the fiber wires on the fiber tapes on the inferior surface. This is the anterior portion, okay? I just take this to the other corner so that it doesn't hold that tight, yeah? So that it doesn't interfere. Take the arthritic clip, please. Take the arthritic clip out, all right? So all the inferior ones you load onto the loop, huh? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Now, these anterior threads which went under the cuff, I have shifted it to the anterior portal so that it doesn't come in between. Now, I will take this loop through this portal area. All right, I got it. Now, take your hands off, Shiva. That's it. Stay there. That's it. Hold here. Shuttling it. Hold this search. Is it visible? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. See that? Now, see, I have shuttled it here, okay? Now, you will see that the threads go inside beautifully. Can you see that? Yes. And it's out. Now, let's see. Has it come out properly? Next question is this fiber tape. Let me check whether it has come out properly or not. Okay, suture retriever, please. 
correlation. Okay, one minute. That's a good one. One has passed properly. Yeah, that's it. That's one. That's one. Okay, that's it. Got it. Good. All, all, all set. All good now. Yeah. Um, hold this. Can you show properly because it may be confusing for them to understand. That's it. Yeah. Now it's through the medial cortex. Now see through the lateral cortex. It's here. Can you see that? Yeah, that's perfect. Yes, yes, we can see. Through the lateral cortex. Yeah. Now I can tie it later. Now we have to go for the next one. Yeah. All right. We got a very good bony bridge as well. Yes, of course. Yeah. The bony bridge usually is yeah. around uh, 15 to 18 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Now, now that I have taken a bite through this one, so I will take out these through the uh, posterior portals. But prior to that, all the bites which are gone superior, I will shift it to the anterior portal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now. All this one which is inferior, hold this Shiva, hold this tight. Now all these things, one, two, three, all these things goes to the anterolateral, modified anterolateral portal. Then I'm, creating, I'm creating the anterior portal, making it free to shuttle all the fibroids. There is some calculation that goes on mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that you get everything right. One here, that's it. Okay, take hands off. Take the article off. Okay. All right, that's it. Now, all these threads which have been taken through the posterior portal here, the posterior bites, this one, I'll switch it over to the posterior portal. Can you see my instrument that's coming here? Catch hold of this, move it away. Because I'm going to make the another portal anteriorly so that it doesn't interfere. That's more important. All right, that's it. You're clearing space for the anterior tunnel. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's that's a Very must. Perfectly well. That's a must. <sighs> okay, let's have the tensor again. So I'm making one more. So for this, I'm just abducting the shoulder, gently externally rotating, and keeping it in this position. So the space I've already created here. See the empty space here? Good. Now, this, this fiber wire is coming somewhere. This is two. Oh, okay, fine, that's fine, that's clear. That's a clear one. <laughs> all right, good. Can I have the all, please? That's it, the same hole through that area and take a punch here, that's it. See, look at the look at the distance. Yeah. It's more than uh, one centimeter. So this is actually the biceps groove. Yes. Can yes. you see this is a biceps groove area? So strongest part of the GT. I'll just take an all here. I think I'm an extreme extreme external rotation. I don't want that much. So I'll try to minimize it a little bit, and that that's that's perfect. And then withdraw the cannula a little bit, and that's it. Looks perfect. Come on. Uh, what is Happy. the amount of abduction you are giving in the arm? Thirty degrees. Is it 30 degrees is mainly 30. for the all insertion. Okay. When I insert the tensor tunneler, uh, I keep it in slight adduction so that the C-shaped curvature of the instrument sits flat on the GT. When you abduct the shoulder more, the mm -hmm. C-shaped curvature will not come and sit properly. So again, once again, I put the instrument inside. I mean, if you go through the same portal, is it? Same portal, same yeah. portal, sir. No change. The same. And then rotate it. Push it inside. What is the depth of the jig? This one? Yeah. About two centimeter? Eighteen millimeters. Hmm. Approximately two centimeters. Can you adapt, please? Hold this. That's it. Now, yeah, that's it. Look at that. Going and sitting well. And you can see the all there. Okay. 
too close, all right, so hold this. What I'm gonna do is, since it's too close, I'll gently externally rotate to bring better bone bridge. That's it, stop there, that's it, perfect. I think it is in this uh, technique that uh, Arthur Tunneler uh, fails in this and this course. Because you, you cannot twist with the Arthur Tunneler. It, you it cannot bend. twist, but you can turn the arm yeah. uh, to get a better bone bridge. Yeah. Here I think uh, this is very robust, as a designer surgeon said. The tip doesn't bend. That's a big advantage. So let's check whether I have passed. Yeah, I have definitely passed it well. Look at that. Yeah, there. And then let's see whether it's come out. Come out. Yeah, good. That's it. Let's have this. Hold this. Hold this tight. Done. Can I have the suture retriever, please? Now? Shuttle. Already it's to the cannula. But the most important thing here is for the better suture management, I would sincerely advise to use cannulas because soft tissue gets caught in between. Mm. Passing the fiber wire through the tunnel, always a headache. So use cannulas if possible. Only while inserting the instrument into the uh, GT area, you don't, you have to remove the cannula and do it. Rest of the time, it's better to use it. That's it. Okay, see, I'm shuttling it. Cool. That's it, beauty. Good. That's off. Good. Now you see that it's it's through the tunnel. Yes. Yes. And these are all the superior sutures, so don't worry about that. Suture retriever. Now. Um, I will take them one by one, all right? See, I've taken only four bites to the cuff, all right? And yes. then this horizontal mattress yeah. will act as a very good rip stop. Mm -hmm. So one by one suture it, uh, you're done with the procedure. Hold everything tight so that it doesn't fall off, good. Now, shall we do it? First step, um, let's do the posterior most thread. Where is the posterior most? You can see the fiber tape here. Posterior thread is this one, all right? The tiger. So I'll take the tiger here. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Tiger is here, and then the inferior tiger. Do it, please. Okay, internal rotate the arm and create space. Now you can create more space. Come here, should be here. Can I have the suture retriever, please? Yes, the, the, the inferior fiber is here. That's it. That's it. All right, done. So, can I have the suture passer? It's not pusher. Hold this. That's a superior thread. Okay. Dr. Sundar, when would you tie the ripstop suture? Would you do it? Last, last, last. Mm -hmm. There's a reason behind that. Um, the reason is, if you tie the ripstop step first, mm -hmm. the amount of compression that you get onto yes. the GT is lesser when you tie it the last. That's what uh, Brett Sanders has done a study about it. Mm. And they went back and saw intra-articularly that the uh, uh, cuff sits onto the middle margin. So beautiful. Okay. All right. Can you see the cuff, how nicely it's coming and sitting? There may be tension, don't worry about it. When, once I start tying the other sutures, the tension will be evenly shared and you'll have a good contact of the GT uh -huh. onto the. Uh, where would you prefer to park the knots? Would you park it on the soft tissue or on the uh, lateral tunnel? 
this will be on the sh on the on, on the, the on the uh, soft tissue Tough. like this. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Kata. Now, yeah, you'd be if able to come in case way. this loosens, mm -hmm. if in case this loosens, that's when I can use a fiber tape and tighten it further. That's the reason why I'm keeping the fiber tape as the last option. Okay. So tight. Now, can I have the suture retriever, please? So that is a posterior most uh, stitch, isn't it? Yes, sir. Tie from posterior to yeah. anterior. That is very important step to establish a posterior cable. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm. Okay, now to relieve the tension, what I have to do is externally rotate the arm because it's an excessive internal rotation. There's more tension. Now that should be better. That's it. Yeah, keep it like that. Can I have the suture passer, please? Hold this. Stay there. Stay there. That's the. Dr. Sundar, would you ever consider placing the knots low and lateral in the gutter? The knots on the gutter? Well, yeah, you down want me on to the do bone that? instead of the tissue. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Sure, why not? Yeah. I just dropped the what? knot pusher. Excuse me for that. See, you can stack the knots on the cortex and tie sutures against them like a pledget. Okay. And it acts like a, acts kind of like a soft anchor <clears throat> sure. as the volume increases of the high molecular weight. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Let's try. Let's try that. I'll try doing that. Excuse me if I'm unsuccessful. That's it. Good. So one. I'm doing a Nikki knot, sliding, locking knot. Uh, I'm not able to do that. Anyway, I'm happy with how what's happening here. I'm just able to cover the cuff better. So that's good. Not able to bring it to the GT. Sorry about that. No worries. It's a great technique. Can I have the knot cutter, please? All right. Suture retriever next. Suture retriever. That's it. Now, um, yeah. See the posterior threads taken. Can you see that it's sitting very well? Now, once I tie this one, the these anterior ones, then it will sit much better. Now, oh, which one was the posterior most? Right, this one. And again, yeah, Dr. Sandler, you're you're uh, tying your. Um, uh, your rips up stitch over the bone bridge last, correct? Last, last, as you said, last. Is it, is, it, is, it, is it the right way, isn't it? This is the way that, in my experience anyway, keep in mind I'm not a surgeon, I've done, done zero, but I've been doing this a while. What okay. we found is that compared to tying that first, right, if you, if you pass that rip up stitch, leave the bone bridge loose, tie your simples over the top of it and at the end you tie your bone bridge last yeah so that rips up sits last bone bridge that really pulls down uh, oh. into the sulcus oh. of the of the articulate margin there and you get the real good effect of the rip stop stitch then you go in inside from underneath you can really see a nice tight seal around the articular margin there no no so this one you're using non-sliding knot huh? so it's a sliding locking knot no, sliding locking knot Sliding, locking, Nikki. The Nikki. That's it. Yeah, the, the 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 biomechanical principle here that the simple transosseous suture does is cerclage. And this is what we've lost with anchors, where you're putting fixation points in, and if you don't judge the distances right, you're basically over compressing the tendon. Correct. Right? Because you don't know until you put the lateral row in what's gonna happen. And Dr. Sundar has done a great job here of, of identifying the vectors of the pull and passing sutures through the different layers. And usually when you do that, 
you can tie like that anterior suture first and the cerclage will bring everything back very nicely and you get the reduction from the cerclage. It's anatomic and then you follow along. So I love that thought process. Hold this, hold it tight and hold it here. That's it, thank you. Last. I was afraid I'm going to do this ACR for this patient. Lucky enough to do a good release and get the cuff back because I am not, it's not possible for me to do an ACR in one hour time. Okay. So and this come up uh, quite well. It's covering the footprint uh, almost uh, 70, yes. 80 percent. Postoperatively, would you give an abduction splint for this patient? 100 percent. <laughs> okay. How long? Six weeks. Six weeks. Okay. I want him to take his own time for the cuff to sit well and heal well. Mm -hmm. I won't worry about the range of motion because he had a good range pre-operatively and he will definitely improve post-operate. Mm -hmm. I just want the cuff to sit there and act as a good tissue preventing the superior head migration. That's enough for me. Mm -hmm. Can I have the knot cutter? Shyam, one question. Yes, so sir. Sliding through your bone tunnel and through the anchor, how do you feel? Is it different or same? Uh, uh, it's more or less the same, I think. Same, huh? See, I thought a little bit, this may, through bone may be slightly little rough, you know. I didn't, I didn't feel that way, sir. I don't I feel, feel that. that okay, way. good. To be very flat. Good. Now, now you see that that it's it's beautifully sitting. Yeah, very nice. Covered. Very nicely done. Only thing that I have to do is tie this uh, lateral mm. uh, threads. Let me do what. Let's the see. Rip stops. All right, the rip stops will be tied here. Can you see the fiber I just slightly cutting through? You have to be a little cautious about that, but nonetheless. Yeah. That's what. That's the only problem with the fiber wire. Right now. And that was a size. That was a size two suture, right? Yeah. That one that's cutting through. So that's the important. What the, one of the points I mentioned earlier is, if you use suture tapes throughout the whole repair, it right. is a game changer for transosseous repairs. And that's that's one reason why I tie the knots on the bone side. As the, as the knots get tied, you can push them into the yeah, hole yeah, and they will uh, support the bone correct, a correct. little bit more. Agreed, agreed. That's correct. That You're sense. absolutely right. Maybe I should start learning that way. But usually this mattress the suture that you're tying now has it rarely cuts through because it's loading perpendicular to the grain of the bone. Absolutely. So there's different plastic deformation depending on the okay. different loading direction. All right. So I have tied the fiber tape configuration very well. So that's it. Now you're doing that. Uh, let me ask you: Is it available in India? The tensor? I'm, I've not seen anybody marketing it yet. I'm sure. I'm sure uh, uh, Justin will do it from tomorrow. Okay. All right. So that's the end picture. You can see the complete GT covered up. Beautiful. That's a corner of the GT. This is the tip of the GT, summit. Yeah, it's it's covered with a cuff. Yeah. It's you have the rip stop there, and you have the simple stitch configuration, and the bone tunnel is in good place. Uh, would I you use this for the subscap as well, in case? Yes, of course, I've done for the subscap, but in this mm -hmm. case, if I'm using it for the subscap, it'll take a little longer time. I won't mm -hmm. be able to finish it on time. That's yeah, the reason why sense. I used a suture anchor. Yes. And right, is, is the needle reusable? I have never the changed needle the needle. Uh, now, okay. the, the, you mean the all inserter? I mean, you can use it. I, I, I have, I keep on changing it, and I have not uh, asked for any uh, replacement from uh, Justin. Okay. <laughs> That's the Indian way of doing it. <laughs> the instrument, as such, is reusable, is it, or is it disposable? Yes, yes it is reusable, reusable. Mm -hmm. That's the benefit of this one. Mm -hmm. You mean it's autoclavable, is it? Or yes, is it, it is. Uh, yes, finish, it is. Huh? It's actually, you no, know, it was difficult to get it in there, and so being that it's not really released in the country yet they were able they were reusing it but once the final registration is complete which is in process uh the device will immediately be become a disposable single patient use it's gonna have to be can't be reprocessed or re-sterilized all right so, so sham it's I, a wonderful job you've done something thank you very, much. Thank very you, nice thank you, very much. Thank you. That's it. fantastic thank you. repair nice. big applause from the audience Thank you. I would there like is to a question. Not an easy case either. So there is a few question more from Dr. Prakash. The floor, huh? Yes, yes, please. Dr. Prakash. No. Shyam yeah. Ethan here. That was a great work. Congrats. Thank you. Thank and you. have you ever tried putting mattress sutures using the transosseous tunnel? 
this is what I use. I, I did the transverse uh, mattress with the suture tape. Uh, with the suture tape alone, like, and on yes. the cuff. On the cuff. Mattress sutures. Is it possible, or only the simple sutures are possible? Only simple is possible. Yeah, simple. only simple. You can do a simple crisscross stitch. Okay. Doing a mattress may not be may be possible, but you have to tie the other end on the lateral cortex, just like how we use for the suture tape. Suture tape. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Great job. Yeah, if it's the end, I would like to thank my uh, staff nurse, Muthu, Shanmugapriya, my assistants, uh, Dr. Uh, Shiv Kumar and uh, Amarjeet, and all the OT team members who have done a fantastic yeah, don't, job. Don't forget the NSC. Thank, thank you, Shyam. NSC, thank you. Dr. Palniyappan, Dr. Saranya, right. and all of them. Uh, and they did a great job. Unfortunately, Dr. Palniyappan is not mm. feeling well, but mm. still he has come for work. Okay. Great uh, spirit from mm. his side. And uh, I would like to thank the video line and uh, making this gra this event a grand success and thank you Justin and thank you Dr. Brett Sanders, mm -hmm. thank you Dr. David Rajan, thank you. Grand finale Shyam, congratulations. You can see a lot of smile in Brett's face as well as Justin's face. Both are really smiling and both are very happy about the whole uh, surgery. I think okay. I've, I've done justice to their, impl to their <laughs> uh, device. Thank you. Yeah, I only wish Dr. Gopal was awake. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell him. Anyway, right, bye -bye. Thank you, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. So, thank you uh, Subramaniam Subhu and uh, uh, Sujit, thank you very much. And uh, we have come to the close of this uh, talks and uh, live surgeries. We'll go on to the next uh, room for uh, shoulder masterclass workshop.